live and direct. Hold on, I had something to to get started to test. That's me, you know. I wanted to smoke a joint too, before I got that too. Division attack our hearts. And is the reason for a sickening society. Division. 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 That attacks our hearts. And that's the reason for a sickening society. Division, division, and we don't talk to each other, and we're so divided, and so far from each other. We're close, 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 we're side by side, but a million miles away from reality, from each other. A million miles from sensing each other, from, uh, but not sensing each other, because some some people sense and can read people fast, so it's not sensing each other, but some people do not sense, <laughs> for sure. And that's the reason for our uh, sickening society. Division. Whenever we, we refuse to feel vulnerable or loving towards another, this is division at work. Yeah. Whenever, whenever you put the division in between that, uh, whether it's in the form of uh, any kind of separation. If you don't feel vulnerable, yeah. and whenever we feel that everyone around us is an idiot, insufficient, or unworthy of trust or respect, this is division once more. All of our social angst and intolerance stem from division, that loneliness, disconnection fear or anger towards others is a result of its poison corrupting our mind and humanity and sometimes you don't have to, to go very far to experience that kind of division in your own uh, couple when you call your wife or your husband an idiot you're causing division it's division at work we're doing that in our own families how many times you've called your uh, husband an idiot or something like that Or some kind of other name because he, he's done something or it's gonna happen in, in, during a relationship eh? if you're misaligned and you don't know who you are and you're traumatized eh? and you're gonna call each other's name eh? once in a while eh? so all this is division at work so all this put division 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 and that's why some people end up uh, divorcing it doesn't work and too much division too much anger, too much uh, nonsense. I'm gonna go sit down. There's days I feel like walking more, but there's days. Uh, today it's a good day. There's good days and bad days, but no, there's good days and uh, there's high, high and low high. Eh, there you go. So the division we must stop being divided and start uniting, start uniting, stop being divided, start uniting. We can also sense it easily when we become judgmental or cannot safely feel love for another nor sense oneness with them. Yeah. That's division. We're very divided. We're, that's why uh, the individual is very divided also. It's, you're more divided with yourself than you are with the rest of the world. We're more divided inside ourselves. That's the worst division you can experience. If you, if you don't give your truth, if you don't, that's the worst division. And most people are stuck in there, but we're so deeply programmed that we don't even sense it. We're so deeply into a program, into a use to the, the fantasy land, that even that uh, kind of a stuff we cannot even censor. 
cannot even phantom the idea that uh, it's possible. We were too divided with ourselves. It's interesting in a way to me, I'm interested in human uh, psychology a lot. I'm interested in uh, psychology a lot to, to, to know a bit more why we're so, why we have a so sickening society. Why society is so sick? There's a reason for that. It's not a random thing. Divisions, poison, then it's antisocial venom that courses through us and clouds the inner emotional, social and spiritual intelligence that would otherwise lead us universally to connection with others and to love. If we remove the division, we're going to be guided to love. Connect with others and love. But the division is so... Uh, So important. Without social care and connection, even faith and action can become corrupt or inadequate. We must inject into our lives the strongest antivenom known to humankind, the cure of all evils and pains, the divine force that speeds all recovery and fuels all of humanity's hope and strength and joy. Love, and love, and more love. People don't care. People don't care. They, they don't. They, they barely have love for themselves. We barely, have, we barely love ourselves. Not that you have to wait to love yourself to love others. You can love others at any moment. It's, it's in the unconditional love. <laughs> unconditional love is not a, a condition to love yourself before you love others. But it's gonna help. Uh, loving yourself loving yourself is going to help but it's not the condition you, there should not be a condition for you to lo start loving others because if not that's very selfish but that's what you know that's what mainstream people say you got to love yourself before you love others you got to love yourself before you love others yeah but okay but most people don't love themselves so we're never going to love each other complete nonsense no you have to think for yourself the thinking for yourself is that is questioning things like that yeah. because if not you just accept other people's stuff and it becomes your reality then you don't start loving anyone because you have problem loving yourself complete nonsense wake up people wake up <laughs> <laughs>